Before you can include entries from time capture on reports or bills, you must convert time entries into slips. In order to convert time entries into slips, they must have timekeepers, clients, and tasks assigned to them. You can do this automatically using the rules system, or you can manually edit the entries to assign the names. When an entry has each type of name assigned to it, a green check mark appears next to that entry in the list. This indicates that it can be converted into a slip. When you click Convert to Slips, Time Capture will automatically select all slips that have names assigned. You can easily change the selection for individual slips or groups of slips. The conversion process will show you how many time entries it will attempt to convert into slips. After conversion, Time Capture will notify you if any time entries failed. These entries will remain in the list so you can correct the problem and resend them later. Time Capture prevents the creation of slips for the same reasons that you would be blocked from creating slips manually, such as security rights, restricted clients, restricted dates, and restricted time amounts. You can view the results of your transfers in a log file that's created in the Time Capture folder. Within Time Slips, you can view the new slips. New slip source values for Time Capture and Time Capture Unprocessed make it easy for you to view slips created in Time Capture. Initially, slips from Time Capture are not processed through the alert system, so alerts will not be triggered from them. If you use alerts, a new command, Special Alerts Process Slips from Time Capture, allows you to process these new slips. If you do not use alerts, you can skip the step. You can now include the slips on alerts and bills.